Welcome back to 6 News at 10. Let's take a full look at your weather here on this Thursday night. We're starting off with some of our daytime highs today. It was another hot day across the Brazos Valley, 109 today in College Station. That does break a record set back in 2010 of 107. And of course, another warm morning. We're getting used to those across the Brazos Valley. 81 out there across the area this morning. For Central Texas, hit 107 today. That is also a record. Broke the record set back in 2011 of 106. A little bit better to start the day at 76. Seven, but again, just hot days across Central Texas and Southeast Texas. There's no escaping it. it. The streak just continues and unfortunately it will continue to be hot into the weekend. However, I do have a glimmer of good news to talk about and that is today we saw a few showers this afternoon from about 5 through about 630. We saw some pop up showers across parts of the Brazos Valley in eastern Central Texas. It wasn't much and really if we're being honest with each other, only about 5% of us saw any rain this afternoon, so it's not a drought buster and unfortunately I don't have any drought busters in the forecast but I do have some more rain chances for us to talk about as we head through the weekend. Let's put our forecast in motion here. Uh, the uh, rain coming to an end really just in the last couple of hours here across central Texas but then for tomorrow we're going to see kind of the same setup. We're going to see those pop up showers as we get to the heat of the day four or five o'clock and you can see the pop up showers possibly a little bit more widespread tomorrow than they were today and as we head towards the evening hours we head to the, those kickoff times across Central Texas and Southeast Texas. We're going to see the rain dissipate from the area and we'll be left with uh, partly cloudy conditions as we head through the rest of the evening. Saturday, same setup, but as you can see, the coverage is getting a little more widespread with each passing day. So this is Saturday. We're seeing a few more of those pop up showers across Central Texas. They stay with us once again. I know I sound like a broken record through the heat of the day, and then as the sun goes down, we'll see that activity start to dissipate. And again, the more rain chances, the better because this was last week. This is this week. You can see as we head from week to week, things just getting worse and worse on our drought monitor. And of course, it's dry. It's also hot. We have excessive heat warnings through tomorrow at 9 p.m. So that's after kickoff times. So remember, when you head up to those football games tomorrow, it's still going to be hot. Coming down from daytime highs around 104, 105, 106 tomorrow. And then as we head through the seven-day forecast, things look up. If you can get through the weekend, you get through the weekend, we'll see things come back down to normal and continue those rain chances through the beginning of the week.